This is Front Range Fishing. My name's Ben. Uh, didn't get a chance to go fishing this week, but we still wanted to put out a video. So here are five things you can do when you can't go oh. fishing. Stay with me. I don't want to lose this fish. Oh yeah. Pretty fish. Let's get him in the water. Let's go get another one. I'm down here in my basement, was just reorganizing some stuff. Uh, we didn't get a chance to get out this week, like I said, so I uh, was just kind of going through some things and I thought that's an idea for a video. So here we go. Uh, top five things to do when you can't go fishing. Number five, organize your in-season gear. Uh, in this case, it's ice fishing gear. Mine had sprawled out all over everything here. Uh, put the things that I use least towards the back things I use most towards the front, and now it's all nice and neat, ready to get back out. We're probably two thirds of the way through ice fishing season or more, so uh, not a lot of that left, but we're still definitely gonna get a little bit in. Um, so that's number five, just reorganize what you're using right now to fit your needs better. Number four, go through your off-season bags. Um, fly fishing, spin, whatever you do, um, and get all of your tag ends and the microplastics and cigarette butts that you find on the banks of rivers. Get all that stuff out of your bag so you're starting clean for next year. And uh, you can go through, make sure you still have all your tools and everything. If you lost a pair of pliers or something, you can note that and make sure you pick some up for next season. Number three, check your lines. Just like it sounds. Go through, see what lines you might need to replace. If you do need to replace your fly lines, we have a video on that. I will link that here. Uh, if you need to replace your spinning lines, we don't have a video on that yet, but we do have one on doing some maintenance. So while you have that line off, go ahead and pull it apart, throw some grease in there. It'll keep you going nice and, nice and smooth for a long time. Thing number two to do when you can't go fishing is uh, tie your own flies or clean up and restore some old lures, either of yours or that you find when you're out fishing. Uh, especially when the water drops, you can often find lures laying around the banks. Uh, we have videos on fly tying uh, a little bit. We're not the best at it. There are plenty of people out there who are really good at it. Recommend watching them. Um, watch ours, of course, too. Uh, there's a couple of them and uh, they're definitely relevant to other things on the channel. We've used them to catch fish. But uh, like I said, there are plenty of fly tires that are much more worthy of uh, your admiration than us. Uh, but we also have a video where Ismael goes over how to clean up and, and uh, restore lures that he finds. Uh, we find them all over the place. Uh, if you just look for shiny things under rocks, like I said, when the water drops, you will end up with some lures in your pocket. They'll be a little rusty, a little uh, waterlogged, and you, you can usually uh, turn them into something useful um, for not a lot of money and, and just a little bit of time. So look for those videos and uh, you can save yourself some money next summer buying flies and lures if you're uh, making them or cleaning them up yourself. Number one thing to do when you can't go fishing is watch fishing videos on YouTube. We really appreciate those of you, each and every one of you who watch our videos. And uh, we are looking for 400 subscribers. When we get there, we are giving away this Yeti Tumbler. Uh, should be in the next couple of weeks. So watch for more information about how to make sure you can have your chance to win that. And uh, watch more fishing on YouTube. It'll make you a better fisherman. We'll catch you next time. Have fun fishing. <laughs>